dear learners i welcome you all to the mooc on principle of electrical sciences i am dr sanjay agrawal associate professor in electrical engineering school of engineering and technology igno new delhi in previous session we have discussed polyphase system merits of polyphase system what are the star and delta connections we have also discussed the relations between phase and line voltage and phase and line current in star and delta connections in this session we will discuss how power measurement can be done in three phase circuits for balanced load and unbalanced load so first of all we are going to discuss power measurement in three phase circuits in ac circuits power is measured with help of a wattmeter a wattmeter is an instrument that consists of two coils called current coil and potential coil potential coil is also called pressure coil the current coil having low resistance is connected in series with the load so that it carries the load current the potential coil have high resistance is connected across the load and carries the current proportional to the potential difference across the load following methods are useful for measuring power in three phase load the first method is a 3 watt meter method in this method 3 watt meter are inserted one in each phase and the algebraic sum of their readings gives the total power consumed by the three phase load the second method that we are going to discuss for the power measurement in three phase circuit is 2 watt meter method this method gives true power in the three phase circuit without regard to balance or wave from provided in case of star connected load the neutral of the load is isolated from the neutral of the source of power or if there is a neutral connection the neutral wire should not carry any current this is the possible only if the load is preferably balanced and there are no harmonics present of the triple frequency or any other multiple of that frequency this method can also be used for the three phase four wire system in which neutral wire carries the neutral current in this method the current coil of the wattmeter are supplied from current transformer inserted in principal line wire in order to get the correct magnitude and phase difference of the current in the current coil of the wattmeter because in three phase four wire system the sum of the instantaneous current in the principal line wire is not necessarily equal to zero as in three phase three wire system the third method that is a 1 watt meter method this 1 watt meter method can be useful only when there is a balanced load so in this method a single watt meter is used to obtain the two readings which are obtained from 2 watt meter by the 2 watt meter method this method can however be used only when the load is balanced balanced means what that means suppose you assume that is a three phase r phase y phase and b phase if magnitude of the voltage on all the three phases are equal and the phase difference between all these three phases are equal that is 120 degree then it will be called the balanced load so in case of the balanced load only one watt meter method can be used now as i told you that for the measurement of the power there are different methods are used 3 watt meter method 2 watt meter method single watt meter method so first of all we are going to discuss 3 watt meter method so as you can see in the diagram that there is a three phase r y b and there is another wire there is a neutral is also extracted from the circuit and the load is z1 z2 and z3 are connected so this method is employed to measure power in three phase four wire system however this method can also be employed in three phase three wire delta connected load where power consumed by each load is required to be determined separately the total power is given by the algebraic sum of reading of all three watt meter so you can say the total power that you are going to measure is capital p so it will be equal to w1 plus w2 plus w3 where w1 w2 w3 are the reading of the all three watt meter second method that we are going to discuss that is a two watt meter method this method can be employed to measure power in three phase three wire star or delta connected balanced or unbalanced load in this method the current coil of the watt meter are connected in any two line say r and y and the potential coil of each watt meter is connected across the same line and the third line that is you can say that is a b line as shown in the figure 
instantaneous current through current coil assume that i suffix r so reading of the watt meter of one that is watt meter one w1 is equal to watt i r so instantaneous potential difference across potential coil of w1 can be written as e suffix rn minus e suffix bn so what will be the instantaneous power measured by this watt meter one because power is what power is nothing but it is a product of voltage and current so because you are assuming power between phase r and b so what is the current current is that is a ir and the voltage between r and b is what that is ern minus evvn so just multiply this voltage by the current then you will get the instantaneous power measured by watt meter 1 similarly instantaneous current through coil of w2 assume that is a i suffix y so what will be the instantaneous potential difference across potential coil of watt meter 2 it is equal to ey n minus evn here you can see in the circuit diagram also so the instantaneous power measured by watt meter 2 can be written as current flowing in that wire that is in y phase that current is what i suffix y and voltage between y phase and b phase so this voltage is what eyn minus evn so instantaneous power in watt meter 2 is equal to what it is a product of current that is i suffix y multiplied by eyn minus evn so because you are using the two watt meter method so just you add these two readings so w1 plus w2 can be written as ir multiplied by ern minus evn plus iy multiplied by eyn minus evn so here you can see that after the opening this bracket you can write the equation so you can write ir ern plus iy evn now evn is common for the current ir and iy so you can write ir ern plus iy eyn minus evn bracket ir plus iy so as you know because we are assuming that it is a let like, this is balanced current so what you can write that all the current flowing through all the wire that is ir plus iy plus ib equal to zero so what you can do you can replace ir plus iy with minus iv so just you put the value of ir plus iy equal to minus iv in this expression so you will get the reading of two watt meter that is w1 plus w2 is equal to ir ern plus iy eyn plus iv evn so here you can say that ir ern is a power measured by the r phase iy into eyn is power measured in y phase ib into evn is power measured in three phase that means this two watt meter is giving a reading of all the three phases so you can write so total power absorbed in three loads at any instant that is p equal to w1 plus w2 so this is how you can measure the three phase power by the two watt meter method now two watt meter method for the balance load the two watt meter method can be explained somewhat more clearly by considering a balance load in this case we shall prove that power measured by two watt meter that is sum of the two watt meter readings is equal to what this can be written as p equal to root 3 bl il cos phi where vl is what vl is a line voltage and il is a line current and cos phi is power factor so this power is what this is actual power consumed in three phase balance load so here you can see in the circuit that three phases are given r phase y phase and b phase and current flowing in r phase is ir current flowing in y phase is iy current flowing is b phase is vv and two watt meter are connected in r phase and y phase so here you can see that current through current coil of watt meter 1 is equal to what that is a ir so potential difference across coil that is of pressure coil of watt meter 1 can be written as vector vrb on what is the value of this brb brb is nothing but it is a vrn minus bvn so how you can find out the value of this quantity it can be easily calculated with help of the phasor diagram so here you can see the phasor diagram also so if you note that angle between phase brn and current ir is phi so phase angle between this brb and brn is what 30 degree 
सो द फेस्ट डिफरेंस बिटवीन बी आर बी एंड आई आर इज वॉट इट इज थर्टी माइनस फाइव सो पावर मेजर्ड बाई वॉट मीटर वन इज कल टू वॉट वी आर बी इन टू आई आर कॉस थर्टी माइनस फाइव बिकॉज दिस थर्टी माइनस फाइव इज द फेस डिफरेंस बिटवीन बी आर एन एंड द करेंट फ्लोइंग दैट इज आई आर सो द फेस डिफरेंस बिटवीन बी वाई बी एंड आई वाई इज वॉट इट इज थर्टी प्लस फाइव सो पावर मेजर्ड बाई वॉट मीटर टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज वी वाई बी इन टू आई वाई मल्टीप्लाइड बाई कॉस थर्टी प्लस फाइव एज यू नो इन केस ऑफ द बैलेंस लोड ऑल द तीस थ्री लाइन वोल्टेज आर इक्वल दैट इज वी आर वाई इजकल टू वी वाई बी इजकल टू वी वी आर इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वी सफिक्स एल दैट इज लाइन वोल्टेज सो पावर मेजर्ड बाई वॉट मीटर वन कैन बी रिटर्न एज डब्ल्यू वन इजकल टू वॉट वी एल आई एल कॉस थर्टी माइनस फाइव सिमिलरली यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट पावर मेजर्ड बाई वॉट मीटर टू दैट इज डब्ल्यू टू इजकल टू वी एल आई एल कॉस थर्टी प्लस फाइव सो सम ऑफ द टू वॉट मीटर रीडिंग्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू इजकल टू वी एल आई एल कॉस थर्टी माइनस फाइव प्लस वी एल आई एल कॉस थर्टी प्लस फाइव सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट वी एल आई एल इज कॉमन इन द इन दीज टू टर्म्स सो डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज वी एल आई एल इन ब्रैकेट कॉस थर्टी माइनस फाइव प्लस कॉस थर्टी प्लस फाइव सो आफ्टर द ओपनिंग दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन राइट द एक्सप्रेशन एज वी एल आई एल इन ब्रैकेट दिस कॉस थर्टी माइनस फाइव कैन बी रिटर्न एज कॉस थर्टी कॉस फाइव प्लस साइन थर्टी साइन फाइव सिमिलरली कॉस थर्टी प्लस फाइव कैन बी रिटर्न एज कॉस थर्टी कॉस फाइव माइनस साइन थर्टी साइन फाइव सो हियर दिस साइन थर्टी साइन फाइव विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट बिकॉज दिस इज ए पॉजिटिव टर्म एंड फोर्थ टर्म इज ए नेगेटिव सो दिस टू टर्म विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट सो यू कैन राइट द एक्सप्रेशन एज वी एल आई एल कॉस थर्टी कॉस फाइव प्लस कॉस थर्टी कॉस फाइव दैट मीन दिस टू टर्म्स कैन बी एडेड सो यू कैन राइट वी एल आई एल टू कॉस थर्टी कॉस फाइव एंड वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस कॉस थर्टी वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस थर्टी इज वॉट रूट थ्री बाई टू सो अगेन दिस टू इन न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट सो यू कैन राइट डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू इज कल टू वॉट रूट थ्री वी एल आई एल कॉस फाइव सो हियर यू कैन नोटिस दैट दिस रूट थ्री वी एल आई एल कॉस फाइव इज वॉट दिस इज ए टोटल पावर एब्जॉर्ड बाई द थ्री फेज बैलेंस लोड सो दैट मीन्स दिस थ्री फेज पावर कैन बी मेजर्ड विद हेल्प ऑफ द टू वॉट मीटर मैथड नाउ डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द पावर फैक्टर फ्रॉम द वॉट मीटर रीडिंग नाउ इफ द रीडिंग ऑफ द टू वॉटर मीटर आर गिविन देन हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ द पावर फैक्टर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस सो एज यू नो द इक्वेशन ऑफ डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू इजकल टू वॉट रूट थ्री वी एल आई एल कॉस फाइव जस्ट यू एज्यूम दिस दैट दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन सिमिलरली यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट द इक्वेशन डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू इजकल टू वॉट वी एल आई एल कॉस थर्टी माइनस फाइव माइनस कॉस थर्टी प्लस फाइव सो आफ्टर द सॉल्विंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू इजकल टू वॉट टू वी एल आई एल साइन थर्टी साइन फाइव एंड वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन थर्टी वैल्यू ऑफ साइन थर्टी इज वॉट वन बाई टू सो दिस टू विल बी कैंसल्ड फ्रॉम द न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर सो द एक्सप्रेशन दैट यू कैन राइट डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू इजकल टू वॉट वी एल आई एल साइन फाइव जस्ट यू एज्यूम दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ वॉट यू डू जस्ट यू डिवाइड इक्वेशन टू बाई द इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो यू कैन राइट डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू अपॉन डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू इजकल टू वी एल आई एल साइन फाइव अपॉन अंडर रूट थ्री वी एल आई एल कॉस फाइव सो दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू अपॉन डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू इजकल टू टेन फाइव अपॉन अंडर रूट थ्री सो आफ्टर द अरेंजिंग दिस टर्म यू कैन राइट टेन फाइव इक्वल टू वॉट अंडर रूट थ्री डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू अपॉन डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू नाउ बिकॉज वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू कैलकुलेट द पावर फैक्टर एंड पावर फैक्टर इज वॉट कॉस फाइव दैट मीन कोसाइन एंगल बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करेंट दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू मेजर द फेज एंगल सो विद हेल्प ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज टेन फाइव इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू अपॉन डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू यू कैन कैलकुलेट द फाइव सो फाइव कैन बी रिटर्न एज फाइव इज इज इक्वल टू टेन इनवर्स रूट थ्री डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू अपॉन डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू सो नाउ यू कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट द पावर फैक्टर वॉट इज द पावर फैक्टर पावर फैक्टर इज नथिंग बट इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज कॉस फाइव सो यू हैव ए वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव नाउ जस्ट पोट द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव हेयर सो वैल्यू ऑफ द पावर फैक्टर दैट इज कॉस फाइव इज इक्वल टू कॉस टेन इनवर्स अंडर रूट थ्री डब्ल्यू वन
वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू डिटरमाइन रिएक्टिव पावर फ्रॉम टू वॉट मीटर रीडिंग सो एज यू नो दैट द इक्वेशन नंबर टू इन द प्रीवियस लाइट दैट इज डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज वी एल आई एल साइन फाइव नाउ एज यू नो दैट रिएक्टिव पावर इन केस ऑफ थ्री फेस सिस्टम इज वॉट दैट इज रूट थ्री वी एल आई एल साइन फाइव सो वॉट यू कैन डू यू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई अंडर रूट थ्री ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड राइट हैंड साइड सो हाउ यू विल गेट द इक्वेशन अंडर रूट थ्री डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू इज इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट थ्री वी एल आई एल साइन फाइव सो दिस अंडर रूट थ्री बी एल आई एल साइन फाइव इज वॉट दिस इज नथिंग वॉट इट इज अ रिएक्टिव पावर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द रिएक्टिव पावर बाय टू वॉट मीटर मैथड सो इट रिएक्टिव पावर कैन बी रिटर्न एज अंडर रूट थ्री डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू नाउ वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इफेक्ट ऑफ पावर फैक्टर ऑन द टू वॉट मीटर रीडिंग्स सो एज यू नो वी कैन राइट द इक्वेशन फॉर द वॉट मीटर रीडिंग फॉर द लेगिंग पावर फैक्टर वॉट रीडिंग ऑफ वॉट मीटर वन दैट इज डब्ल्यू वन कैन बी रिटर्न एज बी एल आई एल कॉस थर्टी माइनस फाइव एंड रीडिंग फॉर द वॉट मीटर टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज डब्ल्यू टू इज कल टू वी एल आई एल कॉस थर्टी प्लस फाइव सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कंडीशन बाई कंडीशन सो फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज वॉट वन पावर फैक्टर इज यूनिटी सो पावर फैक्टर इज यूनिटी इज मीन्स वॉट cos phi is 1 cos phi is 1 means phi is 0 because cos 0 is 1 that means angle between voltage and current is 0 so just you put the value of phi is equal to 0 in reading of watt meter 1 and reading of watt meter 2 so after the putting phi equal to 0 the reading of watt meter w1 is equal to what vl il cos 30 similarly reading of the watt meter 2 W2 is equal to what? VL IL cos 30. So here you can notice that reading of these two watt meter are the same. That means you can say power measured by watt meter one is equal to the power measured by watt meter two. This is the condition when power factor is unity, or you can say it is for the resistive load. Now second condition that we are going to discuss when power factor is 0.5. or you can say cos phi is 0.5 so when it will be the cos phi equal to 0.5 when phi is equal to 60 degree as you know cos 60 is equal to what 1 by 2 that is 0.5 so now you put the value phi equal to 60 in the reading of the watt meter 1 and in the reading of the watt meter 2 so you can write w1 is equal to what vl il cos 30 minus 5 it is a reading of uh, watt meter 1 similarly reading of watt meter 2 is equal to what w2 that is vl il cos 30 plus 5 after the putting the value of phi is equal to 60 d so reading of watt meter w1 is equal to what vl il cos 30 minus 60 so it can be written as vl il cos minus 30 so as you know cos minus theta is equal to cos theta so this can be written as w1 is equal to vl il cos 30 now you are putting the phi equal to 60 in the reading of the watt meter 2 that means w2 is equal to vl il cos 30 plus 5 so just put the phi equal to 60 degree so w2 can be written as vl il cos 30 plus 60 that means cos 90 and value of cos 90 is what that is zero that means second watt meter will give you the zero reading hence when the power factor is 0.5 one of the watt meter w2 gives the zero reading that means there will be no deflection and whole of the power will be measured by the only one watt meter that is a other watt meter that is w1 third case that we are going to discuss that when power factor is more than 0.5 but less than 1 you can say cos phi is lying between 0.5 and 1 so or you can write that means phi is greater than 60 degree and less than 0 degree so w1 can be written as vl il cos 30 minus 5 so in this condition this w1 will give you the positive reading and it will be the larger value and w2 will you give the positive reading but the value of this w2 will be smaller hence when the power factor is more than 0.5 but less than 1 both the watt meter give positive reading however watt meter w1 gives larger reading than watt meter w2 so total power can be written as p equal to w1 plus w2 where p is equal to what 
that is a reading of all the system p can be written as p equal to larger reading plus smaller reading where larger reading is measured by watt meter 1 and smaller reading is measured by watt meter 2 the next case or you can say fourth case that we are going to discuss when power factor is less than 0.5 but less than 1 you can say cos phi is greater than 0 and less than 0.5 so what is the meaning of this that means phi is less than 60 degree and greater than 90 degree so w1 can be written as vl il cos 30 minus phi and w2 is equal to what vl il cos 30 plus phi so this watt meter w1 will give you the positive and larger value and w2 that is watt meter 2 will give you the negative value and it will be the smaller value hence when the power factor is less than 0.5 but more than 0 one of the watt meter w2 gives negative down scale reading while the other watt meter w1 gives positive up scale reading in order to obtain up scale reading on watt meter 2 either the connection of the potential coil or current coil of this watt meter are reversed however the reading is considered as negative so total power can be written as p is equal to w1 plus w2 where value of w2 is negative now we are going to discuss problem on the basis of the power measurement so here we are taking one example a balanced three phase star connected load draws power from 440 volt supply the two watt meter connected in the circuit indicate reading that is w1 is equal to 4.2 kilowatt and watt meter 2 w2 gives the 0.8 kilowatt you have to calculate the power power factor and current in the circuit so just you note down the reading that they are given in the questions so here you can see that the reading of the w1 is given that is 4.2 kilowatt reading of the second watt meter w2 is given that is 0.8 kilowatt so what is the total power total power is what this can be written as p is equal to w1 plus w2 so reading of w1 is equal to what 4.2 and reading of w2 is what 0.8 so just you add these two value 4.2 plus 0.8 so it comes 5 kilowatt as you know that we can write the expression for the cos phi also we can write the expression for the tan phi is equal to so equation for the tan phi is equal to what it is tan phi equal to under root 3 w1 minus w2 upon w1 plus w2 so with help of this expression you can calculate the phase angle because you have a already reading of two watt meter that is w1 and w2 so this can be written as tan phi is equal to what under root 3 4.2 minus 0.8 upon 4.2 plus 0.8 this 4.2 is a reading of watt meter 1 and 0.8 is a reading of watt meter 2 so after the solving the value that you get is it is equal to 1.1778 that means tan phi is equal to 1.1778 so what is a phi phi is equal to what it is equal to 10 inverse 1.1778 now you have to calculate the power factor so power factor is what power factor is nothing but it is cos phi so you can write the expression cos phi is equal to what cos and value of phi is what 10 inverse 1.1778 now just put the value and solve this so you will get the value of the power factor that is cos phi is equal to 0.6472 now you have to calculate the power drawn by this three phase circuit so as you know the power drawn by the circuit can be written as p equal to under root 3 vl il cos phi where this vl is a line voltage il is also a line current so you have a value of the power and what is the value of the power that is a 5 kilowatt that you have already calculated after reading of the 2 watt meter so here i am multiplying by 1000 why because we are converting kilowatt into watt as you know the value of the power factor for the three phase system can be written as root 3 vl il cos phi where vl is a line voltage il is a line current and cos phi is a power factor so you have already already calculated the value of the power that is a 5 kilowatt so you are just putting the value that is a 5 kilowatt here i am multiplying by 1000 just convert into watt and value of the line voltage is what that is a 440 volt it is already given in the questions and you have to calculate the current il so just put here il 
and value of the power factor is what you have already calculated that is 0.6472 so after the solving this expression you can easily calculate the value of the current that is line current it comes il is equal to 10.137 ampere so this is how you can calculate the power factor you can also calculate the phase angle between voltage and current by this method the second example we are going to discuss here so here it is asked draw the connection diagram for the measurement of power in three phase star connected load using two watt meter method in one such experiment the load supplied was 30 kilowatt at 0.7 power factor lagging find the reading of each watt meter that means you have to calculate the reading of the two watt meter w1 and w2 so because total power is given that is a 30 kilowatt so you can write total power supplied p is equal to what w1 plus w2 is equal to 30 kilowatt and here power factor is already given that is power factor cos phi is equal to what 0.7 so with help of this expression you can also calculate the phase angle that is phi phi equal to what cos inverse 0.7 so it will give you the reading that is 45.57 degree so phase angle is what 45.57 degree lagging so you can calculate the value of tan phi because you have already calculated the phase angle so just put the value of phi here so tan phi is equal to what tan 45.57 so it comes equal to 1.0202 and you know the equation of the tan phi for the two watt meter method that is tan phi is equal to what under root 3 W1 minus W2 upon W1 plus W2, where W1 is the reading of the watt meter one and W2 is the reading of the watt meter two. So you have a value of 10 phi that is 1.0202. Just put here, and you have already the value of W1 plus W2 that is 30. So this equation is what 1.0202 is equal to under root three W1 minus W2 upon 30. so after the rearranging this term you can write the expression for w1 minus w2 is equal to 17.67 kilowatt now you have a two equation that means equation for w1 plus w2 is equal to 30 kilowatt and another equation you have w1 plus w2 is equal to 17.67 kilowatt you have a two equation you have a two unknown value so you can easily calculate the value of w1 and w2 by solving this expression so value of w1 is equal to what it is 23.835 kilowatt and reading of watt meter 2 w2 is equal to what 6.165 kilowatt in today's session we discussed how power measurement are done in three phase circuit for the balanced load and unbalanced load and what do you mean by this balanced load balanced load as i already explained you that balanced load is a load where all three phases have equal magnitude of value this value may be the voltage may be the current or the phase angle between all the phases are equal that means if you are talking about the star connection that means phase angle between r and y is 120 degree angle between y and b is a 120 degree and angle between b and r is a 120 degree and magnitude of voltage at r phase y phase and b phase are equal then it will be called balance load under this session we discussed 3 watt meter method and 2 watt meter method for the power measurement hope you are able to grasp the concept very well in the next session we would talk about some more concept like uh, power factor what are the causes of the low power factor what are the impact of the low power factor and how this power factor can be improved thank you very much